Greetings everyone and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how we can use interceptors in view using Axios. So sometimes we face the need or the challenge to uh, call or to make a request immediately we authenticate our users. And at this point, if we've already made the Axios instance, and now we want to include some other information in the instance, for example, we need to include the authorization header, for example, that's what we're going to include here. We cannot do that on the instance that was already created. So we have to use the interceptors to include whatever data that we need to be included in the request. And that's what we're going to see. And on the other hand, for example, if we get a response from the server and we want to act on the response before it gets to the user, we'll use the response interceptors. So for intercepting the request, we use the request interceptors and for intercepting the response, we're going to use the response interceptors in Axios. So let's get to the problem. For example, as you can see here, I have this login form. In this login form, I want to be able to log in and then if I am logged in successfully before I navigate to another page, I want to call another endpoint and this endpoint should be protected. It means that I have to send the authentication token or the access token for me to be able to go through the uh, this route or this URL or this endpoint. And for me to do that, I will need to use the Axios interceptors. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that using view. And I'm going to go direct to the project itself. And here is the project. As you can see here, I have the login method. And this is the method that is going to be executed when we click on the login button on the view and it's going to go ahead and uh, bring in the response and I'm going to get the response and get the access token and put the access token inside the uh, local storage in a key named access token like that. Now, when we go to our Axios instance here, and this is the instance of the Axios that we are using, and as you can see here, we are getting the Axios token from the local storage here. And we're using that Axios token here as our authorization header. So it means that once we've done that, this Axios instance now is the, it's the one that it's export, exported and it's what we're going to get to use in our store here. All right, so here in our, you know, our get menu here, we're going to set this endpoint together with that uh, Axios token. But then again, at this point, at this point, this access token will have not been set already. And now how can we do that? And the way to do that is to use the request interceptors. This will be our request interceptor. And this one here is going to be our response interceptor. So let's just go ahead and see what's the problem currently and what we're going to do about this problem. So when we go back to our browser here, let's try to log in. For example, I'm going to 
just login. I'll use uh, Alfred at employee dot com and that's the email that I am currently using and then I'm going to provide the password so I will say employee and this is the my correct password so I'm going to go ahead and just provide a wrong password for now and another thing I need to do is to go ahead and check my local storage that there is no any access token right so let's just go to the console here i'll try to log in and as you can see here now we are saying that we are intercepting uh, a success request and here we are intercepting a failed response uh, in, uh, uh, interceptor here or, or request so if we go to the code here as you can see here I log here we are intersecting our success request and if we get an error here we're going to show that we are intersecting or we are intercepting a failed request same as this one here if we go we get a successful response then we'll be in intercepting a, a, a successful uh, response else we're going to get an error here and we'll be intercepting a failed response as you can see here so those are the two interceptors that we have currently now let's just go ahead and try to provide the correct email and password and to do that I'm just going to do away with the extra character there and that should be the correct password for now let me just go ahead and try to set that and as you can see now here saying that intercepting a success request and intersecting our success response and that means the first success we, we had a success with the first response but it failed on the second on the second response here so if we go to examine our network as you can see here we already have a su successful login now if we get to the response here you can see that we already have the access token in place and when we get to the second method here or the second request here now we get that we are unauthenticated even though we've already logged in successfully and we've already stored that access token on into our local storage and that means that that confirms that our access instance is not getting updated with the current um, access token that's already stored on the uh, local storage of our browser here so to solve this issue what we can do we can just inject the these uh, uh, we can just go ahead and inject the access token inside the request itself and to do that is pretty straightforward and simple so let's just go ahead and see how we can do that let's go back to our code editor here and insert the request uh, interceptor here we're going to add that authorization header and we're going to get the access token from the local storage and we're going ahead and inject the authorization header here and provide the access token now let's go back and see if that solves our problem we go back to the browser here and what I'm going to do I'm going to reload the page I'll go to the application here get into local storage we only have one local one key here two keys this by default and we have another key here which is the access token so we're going to do away with that try again to reload the page we should not have any access token here let me go back to the network 
I'll provide these same credentials. So this one it's email Alfred at employee.com and password that should be employee like that. Now let me try to log in this time around and let's see if it's going to solve our problem. I try to log in and as you can see now we have both uh, 200 on both requests. The first one which is the uh, uh, login and the second one which is the uh, get menu and as you can see here this get menu URL is the one that we are calling when we we are successfully logged in and to confirm that we can just go to the auth here and as you can see here when we log in successfully we're going to call this method here that we're calling menu here and that's which is going to bring up the the second press uh, the second request which is this one here so that solves our problem now let's see the second kind of issue that we may face when we try to when we try where we can use the uh, response interceptor to do something on our application so let's assume that for ex for instance we are already uh, working on our application here let's say we are already here and then for some reasons our token gets expired or our token gets um, uh, revoked and we try to do any interaction or we try to send a request that requires us to be authenticated that means the we should get to know whether this user is authenticated and if they are not then we should go ahead and raise alarm and do something in this case or in my scenario here what I want to do I want to check if the user is authenticated if they are not authenticated if the response from the server is that the user is not authenticated what I will do I will just uh, kick them back to the login page so for example here we already authenticated ourselves and if we check here we already have an access token and what's happening here what here is I click this button it's going to call the second uh, request that we made and this request is protected so it means that we will have to have a correct uh, access token to be able to go through this request so what I want to do I want to delete this uh, our access token here for now I will just go ahead and delete that I will just make uh, uh, make sure that it's uh, deleted it's not here as you can see now I will come here and I'll try to click this button again it's going to invoke a request through a protected post and it should not get us it should not give us the response so let's try that and as you can see here now we have uh, the network here it's not going through it's getting 401 and here it's telling us that we are unauthenticated so what I want to do in this scenario is to just kick the user outside the main application and make them go back and try to uh, log in again so that they can get authenticated and we are going to do that inside the interceptor here as well so we're going to check here if the response has the 401 which means unauthenticated and if that's the case then we're going just to uh, push them to the login page and the way to do that is again still very straightforward and what I'm going to do here I'm just going to check the response status here 
and I'm going to check if it's 401 then I'm going to push them to the login page as you can see here this route I'm having it here so as you can see here I've already imported the router and that's what I'm going to use just to kick them uh, onto the login page so this one the advantage of this was that you're going to do this only once in your application you don't know you don't need to do it per a request as well as this one right here so let's just go ahead and try to see if this is going to work let's go back to the browser here and i'm going to reload the page so that i get a fresh one and here as you can see here we do not have any any access token being stored on our local storage here so let's go and try that i'm going to try to call this and as you can see it works as we expected and now it's kicking us out to the login page and asking us to authenticate ourselves so that we can go ahead and get to that request just quickly here i'm going to authenticate myself now say alfred at employee.com and i'll continue here i'll pass the password which is simply employee like that and now i'm going to log myself in I've not put the redirect to go direct to the application, but then again, I'm just going to click the button to take me to the application here. So again, now let's try and click this button and see what will happen. It's giving us 200, that means we are already authenticated. And for that reason, we do not need to go back to the uh, login page so this is uh, what we wanted to solve today hope you learned something one or two thank you very much for being with me on this one i'll see you in the next one we'll be solving another challenge